You'll hear them making some silly comments like, ah, malu bana, mimi, The only thing that those love themselves deeply, to the extent that when they express it, people say that uh, they either express it to the extreme. They exaggerate things so much. At yo, manome mjaluo, ata, 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 ata kupenda ndiyo, but ata kujit. Sasa niwewe, u decide if you staying there or you leaving. Most people believe that Luos are uh, very proud, of course, full of themselves. They, 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 they have much ego. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, kindly make sure you subscribe to Lavina Reality Show. Sure, right? So, yeah. we are doing this. We are giving you five seconds to do that. So, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Now that we have your subscription on this show, <laughs> keep on coming in. Hello and welcome back to Lavina Reality Show. Today I'm in this street. I want to know your opinion about this one thing you've been told about Lewis that when you came to interact with them, you found out that it was not true or rather it was not real. Let's go. One thing that is in real that I have been told about Lewis is Lewis are violent. And for which I find that is no. The only thing that Lewis love themselves deeply to the extent that when they express it, people say that... Uh, they either express it to the extreme, that some feel that uh, to the extent that they express it makes them somehow seem violent, which is not true. And mostly that is more on the political side. But beyond that, uh, none, that I will say. So uh, the violent part of it could be for their own defense? Definitely, you have to love yourself because the moment you love yourself, you defend yourself, right? So. You, your ideologies and whatever you believe in make you go to the extreme and that is that binds in almost all communities or every other individual because all that you believe in makes you go to the extreme in defending whatever you believe in sure. yes and i thank you so much well unfortunately everything i've been told about luos and uh, the much i've interacted with uh, them is true oh true uh, they haven't proven me otherwise oh, wow yeah. Uh, may I know? Uh, like I was told, Luos are full of pride. And interacting with them, most of them, not all, but most of them are full of pride. So, what's the definition of pride? Kujiskia, <laughs> you know. Kujiskia. Akiwa Mahali, you must feel their presence, you know. Isn't that bad? It's bad. It's bad. You'll hear them making some silly comments like, Ah, Maluo, Bana, Mimi. <laughs> yeah, I think I have uh, some. Of course, uh, I've, I've, I have a lot of friends who are Luos. Some of my colleagues, my the acquaintances, and all the also I'm, a, I'm a, actually a Luo. Yeah? yeah. So I think uh, most people believe that Luos are uh, very proud. Of course, full of themselves, they they they, they, they have much ego. But uh, then I think that's not the case because uh, most Luos are Luos are very humble, very friendly people. I think. Uh, if 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 uh, I could say, if you ask me, Luos are the most humble people. So I think uh, those are rumors, myths about Luos. But I think uh, very welcoming. Of course, not with that ego, but uh, of course there are some people with different personalities. But I think uh, Luos are actually friendly people. Yeah. Thank you so much. You said you are. I'm Gabriel John. Gabriel, thank you so much. Welcome. I have a lot of friends, a lot of uh, acquaintances that I know who are Luos. And uh, most people believe that uh, they are egocentric, they are full of themselves, they are, they are proud. Yeah? One of the most identifying uh, features that Luos are, are identified with is pride, but I won't talk for, uh, on pride for now. Uh, one, uh, most people also associate Luos with uh, polygamy, which uh, most people, I'm, I'm, I'm a Luo, but most people, uh, like I've interacted with the ladies from other tribe, but they always, they, in most cases, when a Luo man proposes to them, they'll say, no, I don't want to be married by a Luo because I know I'll be, there'll be a second wife after me. But uh, from my interaction with the Luos, I've realized it was a, it was a fallacy, fallacy of generalization. Like it was, a, um, uh, it was done by a few, maybe in the past, but with the time it has come to, it has become obsolete. So I feel it was something that does not exist any longer. 
which uh, of late, I mean, uh, nowadays it's something that does not happen. Yeah, it doesn't. It does not happen. At all? Like uh, polygamy, people marrying second wife or third or fourth or fifth or whatever, they don't have to be necessarily be loose. We, we have Kikuyus marrying second wife, Kambas. Yeah. So I don't it's feel... In general, now. Yeah, I don't feel it should be associated with the loose only. Yeah, but you see, it has become something which is strictly associated with the laws. Yeah, but of late, I feel it shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, sure, I do. I do have this one, huh? especially their men. Huh? They normally say these fellas are spenders of money, and uh, okay, to an extent, it's true, and to some extent, it's it's not because I have friends who uh, do not spend on their women. Yeah. Uh, they just like us. It's not something big. It's only that they have uh, overrated the the Louisim. Uh, that thing they say, oh, spending is a culture. Ah, uh -uh, no, to <laughs> 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 uh, That's nothing. Oh, and another thing is like uh, you you have a low uh, boyfriend. He will keep playing you. He will keep he will play you, but he still make you comfortable. Play in what sense? Like their cheats. Yeah, I yeah, have several ladies, but besides having several ladies, he will take good care of you, so you'll have nowhere else to run to, you know. Oh gosh, are you so, are sure about that? Mm, uh, no, that's that's the that's the I thought out there, but the reality is not that way. These people are loyal to one woman. Oh wow! Uh, it's not like they put it; they exaggerate things so much. At you. Manome mjaluo ata 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 kupenda ndiyo but ata kuchit. Sasa niwewe u decide if you staying there or you leaving. You see? That's just like a myth. It's not true. Lows are just nice people just like us, just like other persons. Yeah. It's like, uh, for example, it's like when they say kisses, they are harsh and arrogant. No. We are sweet and romantic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mo? Uh, another thing is, uh, uh, especially, uh, let me talk about Kisumu. Uh -uh. Kisumu is, is, a, is a hub of fish, you know. But when you go there, fish there is very expensive. Very expensive. You better get a fish out of, outside Kisumu. But in Kisumu, it's up and up and up. Don't ever, don't ever tell someone, umenda home, yes, umenda ukodala. That's the, that's the name, right? You in Dallas now come uh, with some fish for me. Ah, bad joke. But you better buy it within the locality which you are. All right. Thank you yeah. so much, Mr. Eden Mark.